ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zin Selma, and I am an industrial engineer and student at the Mohammedia School of Engineers, one of Morocco's leading institutions in the field of engineering education. EMI is known for its rigorous academic programs and its commitment to produce highly skilled engineers who contribute to shaping the future of various industries in Morocco and even beyond. I am also a proud member of the organizing committee of the job fair named Forum Union Entreprise, Morocco's pioneering recruitment platform. The forum serves as a vital bridge between talented students and leading companies, creating an invaluable opportunity for networking, internship, and even recruitment. This event has become a significant institution, bringing together top tier talent and industry, industrial leaders sorry, to discuss the future of work and innovation. This prestigious forum is graced by the high patronage of His Majesty King Mohammed VI, may God preserve him, and this since 1999, reflecting its importance and impact on Morocco's development. The event continues to be an essential part of our country's journey towards the vision of 2030, fostering growth, collaboration, and the exchange of knowledge across sectors. This year's pre-conference debate, Educational, uh, education in the digital era, preparing future talents, carries particular significance as Morocco is accelerating toward its vision of 2030. We have convened exceptional minds from industry and academia who kindly accepted our invitation to address the urgent transforming of engineering education, where artificial intelligence meets hands-on training and traditional pedagogy evolves to build tomorrow's workforce. This dialogue aims to emphasize the role of digitalization in reshaping education educational pathways and equipping future leaders with the skills required for an evolving digital landscape. Having welcomed more than 160 companies and 20,000 vit visitors last year, and also distributing more than 8,000 example reviews, we stand ready to surpass these milestones while fulfilling our greater mission, which is connecting Morocco's brightest minds with opportunities that will shape our nation's digital future. This forum remains the vital bridge between classroom theory and industrial practices, a tradition we proudly advance with all the steadfastness and confidence. Sam Abzoui, member of the organizing committee of Forum Emi Entreprise and a first year student in civil engineering. Um, uh, on the 9th of April at 6.30 p.m., we'll be hosting a pre-conference debate. We'll be having and bringing industry leaders as well as experts and uh, and uh, talented individuals in order to have a thought, thoughtful debate under the theme of uh, education, the training on digital era, preparing tomorrow's talents. Well, the digital transformation in the Moroccan digital, uh, in the Moroccan education uh, suffers from three major problematics and understanding the obstacles is the first step uh, forward to a meaningful reform in Morocco. The key challenges that stand in the way of integrating digital education effectively are uh, connectivity and infrastructure. Many schools, especially in rural areas, lack stable uh, internet access, modern computers and digital tools. Without these basic resources, digital learning remains out of reach for many students. The second problematic is teachers' expertise. Digital transformation requires more than just technology. Teachers must be able to use these tools effectively. Many educators are not familiar with the digital platforms, which limits their activity and uh, their ability to integrate technology into learning. The third problematic is overly theoretical educational system. Moroccan education is still, still relies heavily on uh, the memorization and theory, with the emphasis on the practical hands-on learning to prepare students for the modern job markets. We need to introduce them to more project-based learning and coding and real-world applications. Well, addressing these challenges in uh, the foundation uh, for any successful digital education strategy once we tackle these issues, we can then move forward with the concrete solutions to create a more innovative and inclusive education system. So, for the digital education has the power to level the playing field, but uh, uh, only if we make it accessible to everyone. So, we can do that through online courses, by removing barriers, anyone, anywhere can learn from un, uh, best universities and companies. And the second thing is hybrid learning that helps students uh, find uh, uh, who can't afford to who can't afford to relocate for education and they can do it through the way they want without having to spend a lot of money and uh, expensive resources and finally the government and private 
initiatives can provide uh, free internet access, laptops and training for underprivileged students. This is Dad Simanel and I'm a first year industrial engineer student at the Ahmadiyya d'Engineur. Businesses play a vital role in adapting training programs to enhance young graduates' employability. Ensuring education meets evolving industry demands. Collaborating with universities to modernize curricula is essential. Equipping students with digital and technical skills aligned with the job market. Beyond academic learning, companies must provide real-world experience through internships and apprenticeships helping young talent transition smoothly into the workforce. Additionally, fostering digital and soft skills such as adaptability and critical thinking is crucial in an era of rapid technological change. Accelerating national and world initiatives for digital education requires aligning with His Majesty King Mohammed VI's vision, which calls for modernizing education to prepare youth for future challenges while ensuring inclusivity and social cohesion. To achieve this, modernizing curricula with AI, data science and emerging technologies is essential, alongside public-private partnerships to expand digital education and professional training. Investments in digital, in digital accessibility will further reinforce equal opportunities for all. Everyone's welcome on 9th April at 6 p.m. at École Mohamed d'Ingenieur. We will be waiting for you.